Good afternoon guys, I'm Link with MetaPCs and today I'm going to show you how to install and reseat your RAM. Today we're going to be installing the Kingston Fury white DDR5s. These are personally one of my favorites. You have a nice RGB design on the top and they are just it's hard to find pearly white RAM these days. As well with the Tough Gaming X870 Plus Wi-Fi. When you're pulling out your motherboard, try to pick it up not from the corners. Make sure when you're sliding it out from the anti-static bag that when you're pulling it out, the corners are getting caught because they have these little pins right here in the corner and they can get bent either during shipping or when you're taking it out of the box. A couple key features when you're installing the RAM is you wanna check the actual RAM slots themselves. Where you're going to be installing the RAM is all based on the manufacturer. But generally these days for the new Z and X series motherboards, they're going to be the farthest outer slot and the second one in from the inside. For Asus Tough, they actually have them colored for you so there'll be this nice subtle gray and then a black for the secondary RAM slots. When you're installing them, you want to make sure that the doors are open. So on the Asus Tough series, there's only one set of doors. Some of the newer ones also have two sets of doors on both sides. You wanna make sure that the notch of the RAM is matching up with the notch inside the RAM slot itself. And you wanna put the bottom portion of the RAM in slightly first and then the top and you want to firmly take your thumbs push the bottom portion until you hear a click and then the top portion until you hear a click and now your ram seated installing your ram is pretty simple but there might become times where you need to reseat your ram and some of those examples on why that happens is let's say you're starting a build and you need to move it somewhere else in the house because you need that table for something. Or it's installed in your PC and then you gotta move your PC from the upstairs to the downstairs. You can test those things by seeing if the RAM is still fully unseated and by taking it out and reseating it yourself. Now, I'm gonna show you how to actually reseat the RAM. When taking out the RAM, you wanna make sure that the door is completely open. It'll slightly push up the RAM. On the bottom portion of these Asus Tough motherboards, there's not actually a door. So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna slightly grab it pull up from the top end and it'll come right out on the corner. So the things that you're gonna wanna look for once you have the RAM out is you wanna make sure that on the connector pins right at the bottom that there's no frayed or damage marks. Sometimes you might see there's little lines on them. That's actually normal. That's from the slot itself connecting to the RAM. You wanna pull both out because when you reseat one, you wanna reseat both. So you're gonna open the door, slightly grab it, pull up ever so softly pulls right out. Another thing that you want to pay really close attention to is you want to look inside the slots themselves. Inside the slots, you want to make sure there's no debris or any sort of fray marks or any sort of like crush damage. Sometimes people will go to install the RAM and it's slightly sideways and it could actually crush the RAM itself or the tray that it goes into. So when you're reseating it, just like I said before, you want to make sure that the back half or the bottom portion is in the slot slightly and then you want to make sure the door is open and insert the top portion into the slot. Put your thumbs on it, and please do not push any sort of direction except for straight down. It can seriously damage the RAM. Push the bottom portion until you hear the click, and then push the top portion until you hear the click. Now, you've installed and reseated your RAM. Unfortunately, it's time for me to go. If you liked the tutorial and wanna see more like it, put in the comments what you wanna see for next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and this is Link with MetaPCs, signing off.